Sharif Floyd knows about battles. He's been fighting them from the day he was born. And you may be surprised there's some battles he doesn't try to escape. Growing up, it was kind of hard moving from place to place. Uh, it was just hard. I, I mean, I didn't even want to go to school when I was young because of my situation at home. It, was, it even got to the point where I was just wearing the same clothes every day, buttons missing on my pants and shirts. It was, it was hard. Hard because his biological father died a few days before he was born. Hard because the man who claimed to be his dad was at times abusive and had his own agenda. He raised me off of financial needs, not love like a father would. Uh, I never had the father that would say, let's go play baseball or let's go do this and this. As of now, I don't even have a father figure in my life, but growing up, Anthony Floyd was that father figure when I was young. Well, a father, hold on, it, see, he was a dad, not a father. Because a father is someone who loves, like, does everything for the son. What you see now is a six foot, three inch, 315 pound defensive mammoth that will absolutely devour anything right in front of him, whether that's a plate of pasta or an offensive lineman. What you don't see is that Sharif Floyd was a three and a half pound infant born months premature and somewhat of a miracle that he even made it out of the hospital alive. My mom told me I was on a heart, heart monitor for a couple months, a few months actually. Uh, I was born early and I just blew up from there. His hunger for food is what caused him to grow so large. His hunger for football is why every college coach in America is drooling to get their hands on Sharif Floyd. Because out here is where life gets easy. It's not overwhelming now because um, I was always taught to be humble and hungry and uh, go hard or go home. I mean, that's all I know. I've never had a young man offer that many scholarships. And he's unique. And for whatever reason, uh, there aren't that many big uh, D linemen out there who, with his speed, and as soon as they hear he's a 3-0 student, that opens the doors for anybody. And as he commutes to school by bus from his grandmother's house an hour away, Sharif sees a much bigger picture, whether that involves athletics or academics. Part of that vision is getting my grandma out of Philadelphia because uh, she had it harder than I did. And uh, going through it, you actually feel like you can feel how that person feels. And uh, my grandma's 74, and she's still struggling. And uh, I'm trying to help her as best as I can and give her everything, knowing she wants to give me everything. The R3, the R3, one, two, three, John Boric, Comcast Sportsnet.